How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Bushes and welcome back to the House of Fata Morgana Reincarnation. Well, part of Dream of Revenants and all that. But yes, we are here and we are enjoying ourselves. So last time we got to see the introduction of Nelly as a character and seeing her meet Mel. Now it's interesting though because it's implied that there's not nothing's gonna go hunky dory quite here. But besides the fact that they they look similar enough that people mistake them for siblings. She's like fallen in love with him and, and he seems intrigued by her. So he's like, she's 14, he's like 17, I think? Yeah, 17, three years older. And she like ended up having this kind of really spontaneous like date with him in Paris. And so now it looks like they're heading back. We're continuing to follow her story as she moves forward. So let us begin. Spring vacation is over in the blink of an eye, and before I knew it, I was back to my hectic school life. I had a club to participate in, private lessons to attend, and so much other work it was enough to make my head spin. Grown-ups, or, well, at least mum, always talked about how students had it easy compared to them, but being a student sure didn't seem easy to me. Dealing with people was especially a pain, and I wish she would stop acting like being in school was all fun and games. That said, things had been going amazingly well for me recently, so I couldn't really blame her for thinking that. The biggest, most important thing was obviously being able to talk with Mel. Whenever I sent him a text, he always made time to send a reply, and whenever I sent him a cute sticker, he always sent one in return. I mean, he always made time to send a reply, that's pretty typical, but... <laughs> whatever. And every time I put a stupid grin on my face. I even got my phone confiscated once for messaging with it in class. We hadn't gone anywhere together yet like we said we would in Paris, but we'd been talking about it and making plans for a while now. And when I, we saw each other on the way home from school, he always waved. Things were going quite well, if I did say so myself. We were practically literally going out by now. <laughs> oh, Nelly. When the other girls in my class saw us, they would squee about how jealous they were that I was actually getting close to my prince. And who could blame them? Mel was a wonderful boy. But he was my wonderful boy. I wouldn't let him have him, no matter what. Uh-huh. Except. Except. So anyway, things between me and Mel were going smoother than I could have ever dreamed for. But today, he wasn't responding to my texts. Normally, he sent something back pretty quickly. Had something happened? Had I said something that upset him? Or was he getting tired of all my messages? Oh my gosh, no. This absolutely does feel like texting and relationships at high school. It's like every time. Like, I had a crappy phone, so I didn't ever get the whole, like, I didn't ever see, like, the message scene. I was, I, like, I don't, that was never a thing. So you just send it into the void, and then, like, you didn't hear for a while. Like, it shouldn't be a problem. But when it's somebody you care about, it's like, ah! <laughs> I couldn't focus on anything else. I kept looking for my phone every few minutes. I didn't see him on the way back from school, so I was nervous wrecked the entire way home. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Oh, did he come by perhaps? I can't remember what the buttons do. That's not the right button either. There it is. I walked into the living room and Mum was standing there waiting with a big smile on her face. I had been a while since I'd seen her in such high spirits. Behind her, I could see two figures. One was a man I didn't recognize and the other... Uh oh. Uh oh! I think they are related! was the prince I hadn't heard from all day. Oh, wait a minute. What would be even a worse fate than actually being related? What if they became related? What if their parents started dating? Uh-oh. Oh no! Ah, oh, crap! あ、クラップ。あ、あ、何言ってんの突然意味わかんないんだけど。こら、ネリー。女の子がそんな発したな用語よ。説明が遅くなったのは悪かったけれど。これでも何度か声をかけたのよ。あ、あ。あなた<
最近私の話を聞こうとしてくれなかったじゃない。Well, well, well, if it isn't the consequences of my own actions. <笑>で、でもそんな急に再婚とか勝手に決めるなんて。急に驚かせてしまってすまない、ネリー。挨拶もろくにしないまま。再婚の話をされても困ってしまう。Like、I'm already labeled father. はじめまして。いや、久しぶりって言うべきかな。今日は話し合いのためにここへ来たんだ。君の意見を無視して強引に決めることはないから安心してほしい。Hmm. For the first time in many years? Have I met him before? Wait a minute. Oh, is it a double whammy? <laughs> Are they actually married? Like, were they actually married before? Had Mel broke up after they had Nelly before she could remember and before he could really remember. Oh, gosh. And then they get remarried. Oh, no. Oh, d o r o i t a n a Imoto ga irute y u n o a k i t e t a k e d o Masaka kimi da t a n a t e Oh, gosh. It's like both tropes at once. <laughs> でも他の知らない女の子と家族になるよりずっといいよ。結構ほっとしてるかも。Oh, no. え、ちょっとなんでメルも完全に受け入れる姿勢なのよ。ママが再婚するってことは、つまりここにいる全員が家族になるってことよね。そんなことしたらネリーはメルと兄弟になっちゃう。えっと僕と家族になるのは嫌かい？ Yes? Yate, Kotoja, nine, Dokido. Shotto, Mate. Yok, Kangar, no, Yoneri. Saikon, Stemo, Giri, no, Kyoda, it, the Koto, Yone. Dapara, Simpai, Sukoto, a nine, no, Kamo. Maybe. Mokashi, Tora, Made, Mita, Koto, Attawa. Oyaga, Saikon, Ste, Onaji, Yane, no, Stade, Kras, Yoni, Nata, Ki, Kyoda, Ga, Yuk, Yuk, a Kekon, Sura, Hanashi. それならむしろ一緒に暮らせるんだしいいことしかないんじゃそうよ今までよりずっと近い距離でネリーの可愛さをアピールできるじゃない、uh... ネリーだって一人っ子は寂しいって何度も言ってたじゃない確かに親の都合で振り回してしまったことは悪く思うけど、right. でもこれで本来の家族の姿が取り戻せるんですもの前向きに捉えてくれたら嬉しいわ。いや、I think we're missing a bit of a key information。ちょっと待って。本来の家族の姿って。Yep, here comes the bombshell <笑>。やはり伝わってなかったのか。実は。再婚は再婚でも。事情が少し違うんだ。ああ。私たちは。14年前に離婚をしていてね。Oh, Nelly, I'm so sorry. つまり、もともとはみんな一つの家族だったんだ。本当に、久しぶりに娘の顔を見られて嬉しいよ。Dang it! The strings of fate could not be that nice, could it? Excuse me. We were divorced 14 years ago. We were all one big family once. I'm so glad to be able to see my daughter again. What on earth was this man on about? It all sounded like a bunch of nonsense to me. It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. It's a bad thing. I'm so sorry. Wait. は何それ冗談でしょそれってそメ,メルはこれから義理の兄弟になるんじゃなくて最初から血がつながっているってこと、right、to the soul. ええそうよメルはあなたのたった一人のお兄さんよ Oh boy. しし、ね、oh boy. Everything they were saying was gibberish to me. Why couldn't they just say it was a joke so we could be done with this? Felt like the floor was sinking away from under me. And if that couldn't be a joke, how, could, how about a bad dream? I came home from school to find out I suddenly had a brother.、Uh, and of everyone in the world, it just happened to be my prince. 
And as I stood there in silence, the blood draining from my face, my mom and this man, who are supposedly my dad, kept talking and talking and talking. About how when the first split up, they were on such bad terms, they were certain they would never speak again. About how my mom tried to get custody of both of us, but it was decided that she was too sickly to raise two children on her own. About how they brought this house together when they first married. That must have been why it had always felt so spacious. The living room was way too big for a single mother and her daughter. The master bedroom was even worse. And then there was the other bedroom that nobody used at all. But whenever I asked her about it, Mom got really moody and I avoided the subject. It wasn't like I caused any problems for us, after all. But this... This was not the answer I was expecting. Oddly convenient that, isn't it? それで最近パパと会うようになってね。昔のことが嘘のように仲良く話せるようになっていたの。uh, I mean, cool, I guess, but that sucks for Nelly. もう一度やり直さないかという話になったんだ。どうだろう、ネリー。一緒に暮らしてくれないかな。空白の時間は長いが、やっぱり家族は全員で過ごすのが一番だと思うんだ。Stop it. You can't just decide everything. This is my life, too. Quit smiling like you think you're doing what's best for me. I hate you. I hate this. I hate everything. Every new word they said felt like it ripped another hole in my heart. Were, the mon were they monsters? Did they not realize that they were ruining everything? Taking away everything that made me happy? Ugh, the problem is, Nelly, I mean, like, you would have found out eventually. It would have all still been taken from you. It's just kind of ripping the band-aid off real quick. <laughs> I wanted to say, I think it's the worst idea in the world, but I bit my tongue. Yes, I was still shaken by all the new information, and yes, I was still angry about them doing this behind my back. But that was all irrelevant in the face of the fact that Mel was my actual blood-related big brother. Even if I opposed their marriage and stopped them from moving in, it wouldn't change anything. There was nothing I could do to fix it. <laughs> Nelly, you could be happy somewhere else, I promise. I, I know it feels like your whole world's crumbling around you, but come on, there's more people out there. あの、僕と兄弟だっていうのは、そんなに嫌なことなのかな? <laughs> I mean, uh, okay. I, it might sound weird, but frankly, she should just tell them what's actually been going on. Like, I know it's probably not going to fix anything, but like, if she told them, like, look, now, I, I've had a crush on you. This is very much not quite what I was expecting. So, yeah. ネリーと話すのは楽しいし、兄弟だって分かって納得できた部分もあるんだ。いや、僕が君を見て気になることだなって思っていた理由さ。小さい時に君を見ていたからだ。3歳の頃の記憶なんてほとんど残っていないし、
Nelly just kind of scared me a little bit, but you know, that's que sera, sera the way it goes. But right now I do feel really bad for her. You know, like it wasn't like she was trying to be creepy or make choices that were really like, like off. Like here, it's a really understandable mix up in a modern time. If they'd had grown up together, she might've developed kind of a, I don't know, what is it called? A brother complex, but with like the modern and like growing up and everything, I doubt it would have become the obsession it once was. I think the obsession grew here because she felt it was safe. You know, she felt it was acceptable. She thought he was just another guy. So like, it feels like it's like, fate is being really cruel to her. I don't, I, I don't like that. I wish, I wish she could just be happy. That part wasn't a lie. Of course I wanted to be around him, and of course I wanted to spend as much time as I could with him. But still, I couldn't bring myself to be excited about it. Because we were going to be together as family, as brother and sister. Nothing more. Had Mel only been so gentlemanly in France because some part of him realized I was his sister? Did he not see me as a girl at all? Was all that progress I was so excited about just a figment of my imagination? I mean, it kind of sounds like he wasn't interested in that way in her anyway, you know? Like, ever. Afterwards, I just spaced out. Everyone was talking about how excited they were for all, all the fun things we would do together, but it felt like they were just actors on stage and I was the audience at the very back. They tried to cheer me up, tried to say I could tell them anything. But no, I couldn't. I could never tell them what was really troubling me. Besides, they seemed to be enjoying themselves just fine without me. I couldn't barge in on that and say, no, I don't want us to be family. I could read the room well enough to realize that. Mom was always telling me I was spoiled and self-centered. But the truth was, I held myself back plenty. Hmm, that's disturbing. Yeah, I wouldn't like Nellie, but I could feel bad for her. We had supper together that night, then Mel and his dad went to back to their house. Mom tried to get them to stay the night, but his dad turned her down, saying I probably needed some time to process everything. And he was right! I was on the verge of breaking down already. If Mel was to stay the night, I probably would have snapped. Maybe his dad could see that smile I was putting him on, on was fake. And then when they were gone, Mum started acting really let down. And seeing her like that, I almost blew up at her. Whose fault did she think this was anyway? Who was she acting like I was the one being unreasonable? Maybe she should look into a mirror. But I bit my tongue before I started lashing out at her. It was too easy to get upset at her, and as far as I was concerned, I had every right to be, but the problem was yelling at her wouldn't solve anything. I could yell and shout and scream until my throat went raw, but it wouldn't do anything to soothe my aching heart. I could run away in a fit of rage, and it still wouldn't change a thing. It would be anger for its own sake, and it would wear me thin. There was no solution. My only choice was to face reality. Oh, that's a cute room. But I couldn't just snap my fingers and tell myself to move on. It wasn't that easy, not even close. I spent the whole night letting off steam, screaming on the inside about everyone and everything. <laughs> Hurling my favorite stuffed animals around my room. <laughs> Pounding my fists into my pillow until they were flat. Anything to vent even a little bit of frustration. Until I passed out from exhaustion. <sighs> When I woke up the next morning, my face was covered in dried streaks of tears. I couldn't go to school looking like this. So I told my mom I was feeling ill and stayed holed up at home all day. But no matter how frustrating or infuriating life gets, time only ever moves forward. It does stop to let you collect yourself, and especially doesn't go backwards. So things kept progressing around me, not giving me a chance to come to terms with any of it. And then before I knew it, a full week had passed. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Deep. <深呼吸よ、深呼吸。何でもないように振る舞わなきゃ。これからは家族よ、家族。ネリーはただの妹。そんな簡単に割り切れたら苦労しないわよ。何なの、本当に? <sighs> Yeah, it kind of really sucks. <laughs> I'd been blue all week long. 
It didn't raise any- I didn't raise any objections, so everything rushed along unhindered. They fill, filed all the paperwork, and now they were officially a family. Though it didn't feel like it one bit. Officially a family again, I guess. It was decided that we would be living together in my mom's house moving forward. And now I was standing outside waiting for Mel to arrive. Obviously, I was nervous about suddenly having two new people living in the house. But we had spare rooms, and it was Mel's dad who owned the house, so I had no place to complain. Supposedly, the reason my mom got the house instead of him was because I had just been born and he wanted to make sure I could be raised comfortably. Mel's dad said he tried again and again over the years to convince mom to let, me see him, let him see me, but every time she always sent him away. Because of that, a week ago was the first time I'd ever met Mel's dad, so I was having trouble bringing myself to call him my dad, even if we were blood-related. Yeah, that would be really tough. I felt kind of bad about it too, because he did seem really happy to see me, so I decided I would at least try to do what I, do it when I was talking to him. Plus, how Mum was treating him seemed really unfair, completely cutting him out of our lives and then bringing him back again out of the blue. The way he'd bent over backward to do whatever he needed to make sure it was seemed like he was trying to make up for something, so maybe he was at fault for the divorce. Hmm. Alright, so last time there was, like, a question of, uh, loyalty, right? Like, the Lord, her dad, oh no, the lady had, uh, an affair with the painter. Or, yeah, I had an affair, and so the white-haired girl was, like, the step-sibling. So, is a step-sibling going to be a part of this story, too? Or what interestingly could be is what if Nellie is the step-sibling? What if... Or Mel? I don't know. I don't know. No. Unless she cheated on him again. I don't know. It seems... I'm trying to think if there's a way that there might be step-siblings, but it just doesn't seem like it. But that didn't mean Mom was innocent. Anyway, I didn't know what happened back then, and I wasn't interested in finding out either. I was socially adept enough to know you shouldn't dig, try and dig up dirt on people right after they, right as they were celebrating putting it in the pa putting it in the past. I wasn't that stupid, though for the most part I was just indifferent to it all. I loved relationship drama, but only between kids my age or celebrities. That was fun to talk about. How was I supposed to react to my parents' relationship drama, and not just everyday drama? All the nasty stuff that led to them getting divorced. I couldn't think of anything worse. Anyways, getting off track. So Mum and Mel's dad suggested we go on a family vacation to celebrate us all getting back together. And that, I was absolutely 100% against. So... Right. That truck was really loud, by the way. I don't know why the sound effect was so obnoxious. I bet. As the car got closer, I could see it was moving company van. It parked in front of our house. And the passenger door swung open. Oh, oh, come on, Mel. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
I've never moved in my life, so it was kind of mesmerizing watching the moving men carry all Mel's boxes in. It sure didn't seem like he had all that much stuff, though. Was it normal to only need a handful of boxes when moving? Or was Mel just super good at packing? He just probably seems frugal and not very uh, materialistic. <laughs> this is a cute little room. むしろ少なすぎないかしら。本当に荷物はこれだけなの？うん。あんまりいろいろと買う方じゃなくてさ。でもおかげで持ち運ぶのも楽に済んだし、良かったよ。やっぱり荷物はあれだけだったんだ。
僕だって二人の間に挟まるのは嫌だったもの家でゆっくりしていた方がずっといいよ<笑>そうよねそうよねじゃあ早速だけどお昼にするまだちょっと早いけど動いたらお腹空いてきたしいいねそうしようお昼は何にするつもりなのもしかして作ってくれもちろんピザを注文するわふう<笑>あんなに不健康な食べ物はいけませんとか言ってママったら宅配ピザを許してくれないのよそういう割にはママの料理だって揚げ物ばっかりで体の悪さだったら変わらないわ I don't know that. うん、うん、むしろピザの方が健康的 I'm not quite sure that's accurate but sure 一瞬でも女の子の料理を期待した僕がバカだった Oh, oh crap, maybe Belle does have some feelings there. ち,ちなみに、ネリーって料理はできるのかいうんうん、やったことないわ。<笑> oh man. 家庭科の授業とかあるよね。あんなのやったうちに入らないわよ。全部丸焦げにしちゃったし。そこまで失敗できるのも、ある種の才能だよ。See what a diplomat he is. あ、でもね、でもね、お菓子作りはたまにするのよ。明日はクッキーで、明後日はチョコケーキ、しあさってはプディング、三色お菓子でもいいわ。Baking is cooking though, right? Like, I, I, it's, it's a subset of cooking. そ、それこそ病気になっちゃうよ、ネリー。明日から料理は僕が作ろう。<笑> That was really loud. I kind of scared me. もう到着したみたい。宅配ピザって早いのね。僕が取ってくるよえっとお金はそこの棚にしまっているんだっけネリーはテーブルの準備をしてくれる任せて<笑>お客さんが来た時用の綺麗なテーブルクロスしちゃおっと。See, it's a little much for pizza. すごいすごいこんなに大きなピザは初めて見たわコーラもあるしアメリカのドラマみたい Is that really what it's like? Anyone outside the United States that you're like dying to get some American food? Because it's funny, because like pizza seems like people will say it's Italian, and maybe it was Italian in origin, but the way pizza is now, it's American, really. Like, it's not what it once was, and unless you get the specific kinds, I think it's pretty much just Americanized at this point with all the chains that we got all around the world.、Uh, but I gotta admit, I love pizza. <laughs> it's really good. Oh, guess I don't know. ネリーはもっと上品なのが好きなんだと思ってたよほらアフタヌーンティーとかさもちろん好きだけどいつもお上品にしてたら疲れちゃうでしょそれに今はママがいないんだし目いっぱいダラダラするの例えばポテチを食べながらソファーでゴロゴロしてドラマをぶっ通しで見続けたりだとさとうんそうそういうのがしたいわ今日はドラマを見る日にしちゃいましょう家事も宿題も何にもしないわ<笑> So you have all this time to yourself with Mel and you're gonna just watch TV all day もうネリー行ったらはしゃぎすぎだよでもたまにはそういうのもいいかもねでしょでしょ引っ越し初日にめんどくさいことをするのはなしよ<笑>楽しみになってきたわネリー楽しむのはいいけどとりあえず食べようよせっかく熱々で届いたのに冷めちゃうよ。It's kind of funny because I made pizza today myself at home. あ、そうね。じゃあ、いただきまーす。<笑><笑>一気に頬張るから。We continue chatting about whatever came to mind over the freshly delivered pizza. An endless stream of laughter made, it even,、uh, made the run of the mill pizza taste better than the properly home cooked meal. Better than the meal at a high class restaurant, even. My phone buzzed.、It、seemed like Mom and Mel's dad were having lunch now, too. She wanted to know if we were eating properly, if anything had happened, if we were doing alright. She said she felt bad about leaving us behind. Could she be any more mel melodramatic? I was 14. I could handle not having my mom around for a few days. God, what a worry ward. I really wanted to reply saying, We're having lunch now, and it's much more fun than your dumb vacation would have been. But I decided Mom probably wouldn't take that very well. So I went with simple, doing perfectly fine, enjoy your trip. As much as I had mixed feelings about what, who, what Mom had done, I certainly didn't wish ill on her on her vacation. Not to mention, I could probably push for her to bring me back some really nice souvenirs. 
Anyway, I wouldn't have a nearly as good a time staying home if Mel wasn't here with me. Just being with him felt like it could make anything fun. I was anxious about being alone with him at first, but now I was just giddy about the possibilities. We could watch TV together. We could try our hands at cooking together. Maybe I could even have him help me with my homework. Mom and Mel's dad were planning to be gone for a week, but as far as I was concerned, they could be stay away for a whole month. Then again, it wasn't like Mel would be leaving. We would have plenty of time to spend together even after this. And maybe after enough time, my love would turn into a proper fam fam familiar love. That's a gamble. <laughs> no, no, maybes. I had to make a change. I enjoyed being with him so much, I was sure I'd be able to make it work. I had nothing to worry about. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, everything was going to be just fine. Don't jinx yourself. Ah, Nelly, that glass, I'm going to the kitchen. This is a bit of a sticky wicket. Just as I said we would, we spent the day lazing about watching TV. For supper, we had leftover pizza. Before I knew it, the sun had set and it was almost time for bed. As lazy as I'd been though, I wasn't about to skip my shower. Mel offered to let me go first, which I did appreciate, but I also wished he would put himself first sometimes. He was family now, after all. So I made him take the first shower, and now... I mean, it's perfectly normal, but... Gosh darn it. <laughs> Nelly, you hentai. <laughs>でもでも、メルだってこの家での生活に慣れてきたら、無防備な姿でリビングをうろうろするかもしれないし。おお、ぽい。だって、ドラマではよくあるものね。男兄弟がパンツ一枚でうろちょろして、妹がち
もじゃあもう夜も遅いしドラマを見る会はお開きだね僕はもう部屋に戻るよまた明日ねバイあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっちょっとまだ寒そうなデザインだけどね<笑>じゃあおやすみ<笑>ワンピースじゃなくてねぐれじゃよ<笑><笑>メルのあの反応一つ屋根の下に女の子が住んでいるようなものには思えないわやっぱりメルにとっては妹以上には思えないのかしら I believe so, yes. <笑>それが正しいじゃないネリーだって妹以上に見えちゃったら Yeah That leads to a dark dangerous place that's very much illegal <笑>待っているのは Oh boy ふ<笑>ここが今日から僕が寝起きする部屋か。前よりはずっといいけど、振り回されっぱなしだよ。でも、どうせ家族ごっこなんかあと一年だ。高校を出たら、この家だって出ていくさ。ほぅおぉぼいおぉなぉでも、ネリー、あの子があんなに慕ってくれたのは予想外だな。Yeah, I think he kind of hates his family. I mean, I kind of get it. He got really screwed over by his dad and mom. Kanojo ga kini ite iru no mo. Dose boku no soto gawa nan daro kedo. Oh, that's terrifying. That's also terrifying. Tokoro de. あなたの大事な女の子って誰だったんでしょうね今のあなたならバラの時代のこともわかるのでしょう I love her voice. Holy crap. <笑>かつては大事にしていた妹をバラの時代では気持ち悪いって言って遠ざけたんですよねねえあなたって本当はひどい人だったのね It's whispering in my ears It's again the surround sound worth every cent Oh my gosh Mwah! Just beautiful And what a good voice actor that they picked for her あなたみたいな人が大切だとか大事だとか上辺だけの言葉を吐いているのを見ると笑いが止まりませんよ。Now, this is the witch. This must be like a memory from before? Because she should have let go too, right? Maybe that's just resurfacing. ねえ、お兄様。お兄様に恋人ができたら、ネリーはたくさん泣いて、たくさん嫉妬して、たくさん怒るわ。でも、いつかは諦めたわ。だって仕方のないことだもの、報われないって分かってたもの。なのに、どうして。That actually makes a lot of sense. That when Mel fell in love and she found out it was his sister, of course that destroyed her. Of course that drove her mad because she like, loved him, knew it could never be, and just kind of was moving forward with her life and then realizing that he was going to try and be with essentially another her despite the fact it shouldn't happen. <笑>な
。なんだ、今の夢。妙に生々しくて、変な感じが。Oh boy. 一人の女の子が、僕をひたすら憎んでいて、もう一人の女の子が、苦しそうに泣いている。どっちも身に覚えのないことのはずなのに、覚えてないということ自体が、ひどく罪深いような。それに、もう一人の女の子の声は、ネリーのものだったような気がする。ただの夢だよ。考えすぎだ。だって、あの子とはずっと会ってなかったんだ。お兄様なんて呼ばれたこともない。Oh no. それとも、あんな夢を見てしまうくらい、思っている以上に気にかけているのかな。確かに一緒にいると楽しいし、あの子が妹でよかったって思っているけど。バイ。何にせよ、夢は夢だ。ね、<笑>でも、こんな風に寝苦しい夜も、懐かしい気がするな。<笑> Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. ねえ、起きて。メール、ねえってば。起きてー朝よー Jeez. ああ、何事って、ね、ネリーか。そんな大声を出して起こさないでも。あらだってメルってば何度声をかけてもぐっすりなんだもの。<笑>意外とお寝坊さんなのね。えそこまで寝坊したかなっていうか、勝手に部屋に入ってくるのはちょっと。That's true. That could be dangerous. えぇ、ー、いいじゃない。だって家族なんでしょだったら気にすることなんてないわ。Oh no, did she try to cook? Oh no! <laughs>、ね、oh no! Oh 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 no! I'd been planning to make breakfast for both of us, so I wasn't sure how to feel about her having beaten me to the punch. Hmm. Would be fine, right? Hmm. Diabetes on a plate. That sounds freaking terrifyingly delicious. But that's where we're going to end for tonight. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Now we're seeing that the, the disaster headlong collision that is Nelly and Mel is really starting to approach like terminus. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, especially because Mel apparently is the shallow one this time. It's interesting because it's kind of flipping. Because last time I definitely felt a lot more sympathy for Mel than for Nelly, but this time around I think it's going to be on its head. I think Nelly's the more virtuous one in this case, where she's genuinely trying to wrestle with her feelings, but like it's hard, it'd be hard to just drop them at that, at like, like, you know, if you were crushing on someone for essentially years and then find out they're your blood relative, that would be very tough to deal with. And then Mel obviously is very just much like, I just don't want to be here. I'm going to leave as soon as I can. It's definitely kind of hinting at this very much deep seated resentment. But he has this persona that he puts forward that lets every, he lets everyone see, but it's not the real him, which is something I can relate to a lot. Like, I put probably my most honest self, like, here on the channel and, like, with my close friends and family, but. Even then, I still don't think I show everything because it would be embarrassing to be. 100% open. I think I would. I probably shouldn't, but I would probably be ashamed of who I was if I were truly to cut loose. And I think that for most of us, you know, I and mean, there's social re re reasonable levels that we should 
you know, keep in mind. But you guys do get one of the more open versions of me because I just am passionate about these games that we get to play and cover on this on the channel. Like, I'm really grateful for that. And thank you so much for your patience. Like, I know it doesn't really mean a whole lot when I do things like explain why I'm taking a break and all that stuff. You've always been super supportive, but I also feel like there's a part of me that just, I want to be accountable to you because you have made this hobby so much more. Like, sure, it's a small channel, but like, it's such a great, amazing community we built up. And so I'm grateful for each and every one of you. It's like, it doesn't have to be a huge channel for it to feel like something I want to support with all my heart and something I want to like continue to do. And so I'm grateful for you being supportive of me and that sense of obligation I have, you know? I, I know I want to keep it in healthy means and that's why taking breaks is perfectly reasonable and like you never would tell me otherwise, but I'm still grateful a lot. So thank you so much. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It definitely was an interesting one, wasn't it? But we'll have to see what happens next week now that we've got a bit of an insight into who Mel is and uh, potentially what the, the great schism that's going to be coming is going to be all about. But we'll have to get there when we get there. So thank you guys so much. I'd love to know your thoughts and comments about this. And I'd like to give a big shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for your direct support. For being willing to continue to help this dream become reality. And, you know, specifically for all the love and, and like, direct, like, care and messages you've sent me over the past week. Um, it means a lot to me. So thank you. I hope you guys are having a great summer. That the, the heat's not killing you. <laughs> Oh, it's been okay. It's been an interesting summer, hasn't it? We got a lot of work to do in the world to try and make it a better place, so hopefully we can get by that. But I hope you guys are getting ready for the wonderful fall, which is my favorite season. It's going to be great. And until the next video, watch me. I'll see you next. I'll see you there.